Hello tuned Ferrari collectors, which might be me and two other people in the world, but oh well, still gonna do my videos. This is a very old Choro Q here. It's from 1980 to 1983, I think, because I have a, a relatively other old Ferrari. In fact, I'll just show you now. This Ferrari F1 car. This one says 1980 to 1984. So Choro Q started in 1980. And then this is the earliest dated one that I've seen, you know, marked. So 84. So that makes me think this is made between 1980 and 1983. Just a theory. I could be totally wrong, of course. This is a Ferrari 246 GTS. It literally says so on the sticker. So this is an attractive car in the real world. Not really sure if it's attractive as a cartoon, but I like it anyways. It's a deformation. You know, the wheels actually aren't that far off, at least they're angular. No paint in the back though, but there is a back window, that's surprising. Alright, so we have to bear in mind, this is several decades old now. And what's nice is the wheels, I mean, the tires, I mean, they have molded in uh, aspect ratio and some sort of brand, Q and Q. And they're actually rubbery still. This rubber they used is still good. A really funky, weird tread. Um, and then, in this case, it literally has a sticker on it. But I think this hood opens. I bought this used locally. Or did I? I could have bought it online, I forget. I, I put my models in a box, and some of them are two months old before you review them. I very often review stuff out of order as well. Well, it looks like that was supposed to open, obviously, but uh, I don't want to force it because this plastic might be brittle. Okay. So yeah, the sticker's fallen off. But it has a, such a crude vintage look to it. I'm going to try to leave it on there. Same with this banner. This motor is so old, I've never seen a clear one with green gears. Alright. So sadly, no paint there. You know, this is an old toy. But molded details here, fuel filler detail there, tiny body gaps for the door cuts. And then maybe this comes off. I think it does. So it becomes a Targa. It's clearly a separate piece of color plastic. Again, maybe I should enforce it. Even if, it, if I remove it, I might lose it. So I'm going to assume it comes off. Molded details here. And yeah, it's nice that uh, there's actually a... Wow, those windows are relatively clear, considering how curved they are. That's pretty amazing. Alright, tail lights there. It's weird that the sticker doesn't cover the whole thing, but whatever. Bumpers molded in. Yeah, no additional paint there. So I've decided I'm not going to, you know, modify these very first Choro cues because I feel like that's kind of wrong. It's sacrilegious. You know, it would be like taking the first Lamborghini Miura and then putting a Liberty Walk body kit on it. Uh, it just doesn't seem right to me. So I'm going to just leave this alone. Uh, yeah, I kind of like those wheels. They're, they're fitting. It's number 64. Interesting. Alright. Let's pull out a couple of the Ferraris I have. Let's just put up that F1 car. You'll notice it has a much longer wheelbase though on that one. Um, then we go far forward in time. Basically, uh, they're all Choro Q Zeros, I think. So here's a 250 GTO. That's a Choro Q Zero. It's just light years better these days. You know, all the printing, all the paint details, all that stuff. So. Uh, Ferrari F40, Choro Q0 again, you got badging on it and all that stuff, Tampo printed. Now here's a, a random one, a 3D printed Ferrari Testarossa. This is from one of my subscriptions. The subscription is called Dendeba, and he has three free 3D uh, print files. So if you have a 3D printer, just download his files and you can print these things out. He has several models, realistic looking and deformed looking, so it's really cool of him to do that for us. The last uh, Cherokee Zero is a Ferrari 
355 challenge, but I didn't put the wing on. I think it would just break off. Oh, I do have one more. We'll put a Ferrari F50 coupe up here. That's a Cherokee Zero. I think I added some black paint to the wheels on that one. Alright, so... So it's really cool that, you know, Cherokee made a Dino. I could see them redoing this as a Cherokee Zero because this is a this is a timeless car, I think. Even though it, during its day it wasn't even considered a Ferrari by Enzo Ferrari. That's why it only has a Dino badge on it. But it's clearly an attractive looking vehicle. So I think Cherokee should do it again as a Zero. Alright, well thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time I get one of these vintage Choros in. Bye.